Yeah, so we've talked a lot about AdWords techniques and tactics overall. Uh, again, I'm back here to my campaign. Uh, I want to show you a, a productivity tool now that basically allows you to manage this. Uh, it, it can get kind of massive, and, and we know that because if you think about the structure, right? Well, we know that we start at the highest level with a campaign. It breaks into ad groups and keywords and ad text, right? Uh, and, the, and the big question of the day is how do you manage all this when it starts growing, right? Well, inside the web interface, it does not get pretty. Well, the solution here uh, to this is quite simple. Simple. It's the AdWords editor. And uh, this is a desktop tool. It downloads either to your Windows or Mac, right? You can see it right here. Um, once you do this, you'll open up your account and you'll get your campaigns uh, within the Google account. And you can look at it. And let's do exactly that. I opened up my account here, got all my campaigns stored on the left here, and I'm looking at the motorcycle leather jackets. Here we are, campaigns, right there. Um, within that, I have ad groups, right? Here they are. There's just one in this case. Uh, I can move over to the text ads, and if you notice, uh, here's the text ads uh, as they would appear in Google. Uh, I can change them on the fly. All this stuff is updatable. And the cool thing is I can make changes here, and it'll be a delta displayed up here for any changes that I make, but I don't have to, it's basically not live. I don't have to push it yet. You do that through post changes. Uh, and also, of course, the very important keywords. Well, any and all of this, copy, paste, delete, anything you want, you could almost consider like working in Microsoft Word for simplicity's sake. Um, it's very powerful. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and make some text change added, uh, text ads changes, right? Well, the truth is you need to be doing this for matching to your target audience and you need to be testing this and the A-B split tests and all that uh, good stuff that we talked of. Well, right here, check this out. Before I do this though, let me explain to you that after you have done your keyword research and your copy text and copywriting research, you'll have a lot of ads and a lot of opportunities for testing and you can place those within the ad groups within the campaigns and you can see sort of the structure even outlined here uh, but to type all that in through the web interface and to manage it uh, well we know what that means right don't want to do it so what we do is we uh, take that Excel sheet uh, we make the format looking just like this headline description so each column has these uh, particular fields uh, including the display URL and the destination URL and then you can take that format into a CSV separated with commas and then just literally paste it right in there and you'll have multiples. Here's just one in my example. Uh, hit next. You'll see how it all matches up against the uh, particular fields in the Google system and then hit finish. Once that's done, it's in the system, right? Well, in the system locally, not until you post is it available. And once you post, you can actually go back to your Google AdWords system and you'll see it live inside the system. We'll talk more about this uh, and how you use the tool overall in another session. For now, uh, thank you.